don't think this thing's about to crack. No, 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 no! Oh my gosh, no, 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 no! I gotta go here. What's going on everyone? My name is Brandon Hainline. Now today we've got an exciting video for you. We're gonna be going underwater on the Jeep Wrangler 4x8. Guys, this is about to get crazy. All right, a lot of you are like, what in the world are we doing here, Brandon? What is the purpose of this, okay? Let me show you here. So back on your swing gate, we've got the uh, placard here that shows you the two door and four door specifications of length and width. Now check this out. Right here is a water 40. Now that says that we can go up to 30 inches of water at five miles an hour. That's what we're going to be testing today. All right, now this is how it's going to go down. We're going to be building a 16 by 24 foot homemade swimming pool out of this 4 by 8 sheets of plywood and 2 by 4s. We're going to be using this blue tarp as a liner. Next, we're going to take the Jeep and we're going to put a line down the Jeep to represent the 30 inches of water. We do not want to breach that 30 inches. Next, we're going to put the Jeep in the pool. We're going to seal it up. Then we're going to fill the pool up with water. We're gonna dive up underneath the water. We're gonna check out what's going on underneath there. Now, a lot of interesting things can happen when water gets that high, so that's what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna see where the level's at, all that fun stuff. Now, once we're done with our underwater testing, we're gonna test out this metal bumper. We're going to be 30 inches deep in water, and we're gonna go forward and bust straight through the pool. Now we're going to use the skill saw here to cut the 30 inch spillway across there that I just marked. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so a little saw dusty here. All right, 30 inches. Let's check it. So taking a look here, we are right at 30 inches. So perfect. All right, I'm filling the pool up from the roof. It's gonna give me, uh, I don't really know why I'm doing it, but uh, this is fun. All right, it's time for 100 rubber duckies to enter the pool. We got Caroline down here gonna be helping us. She's gonna be putting 50 rubber duckies in down on the bottom. We got Corey here helping us from the top. Oh man, oh, oh. Wah, wah. Oh, I'm going to hit one in the driver. Oh, in the driver's seat. I'm going to make this head ride. Woo! All right. It's time to rain rubber duckies. Here we go. Oh, we just lost one. Sorry, buddy. Three, two, one. Woo! Now I'm using this red tape and a ruler to make sure that we are marking the outside of the vehicle to give us some kind of visual of where this 30 inches is at. All right, guys, I've got the whole Jeep taped off at 30 inches now. As you can see here, the grill is actually a, a right above those seven slots there. Um, a little concern in a couple areas that I want to talk about. One is going to be the pedestrian speaker, okay? The pedestrian speaker, if you look right up in here, there is a speaker there. And that speaker is going to be right at that 30 inches. Now, that makes me nervous. I think Jeep knew what they were doing when uh, they designed that. Uh, this is another thing that concerns me here. So far up the door, check that out. I mean, this is this is really, really far up the door, way further than I actually thought it would be. And if you take a look right here, that's actually, I mean, look at this. I mean, we could have water all the way up to here. And that is not what I want in my Jeep. I do not want a bunch of water in the Jeep. Now we have the all weather floor mats and I'm concerned that they're not going to seal properly right here. That is where I'm a little concerned at also. There is a rubber seal right here. I just don't know 
how tight that rubber seal is. A little concerned about that. We'll check on that here in a little bit. Now, I do recommend that you give this a little shove here to make sure that that's tight. All right, moving around to the Jeep. Another thing that's got me concerned is the rear swing gate here. Um, let's take a look at the rear swing gate. I mean, if you can see, the red line is right here at the door seal. And I also think Jeep knew exactly what they were doing when they put that door seal right there. All right, now something that most people probably haven't thought of, okay, is the tailpipe. Now remember, this is a Jeep Wrangler 4xE, okay? So if we're in electric mode, the engine is not running. So therefore, there will be no exhaust coming out this tailpipe. This is well below the 30 inches. We're gonna be filling up this exhaust pipe and the muffler full of water. And I mean, if the engine starts, is, is it gonna be able to push it out? I don't know. Now, if you do not have the electric 4 by e then the tailpipe is always putting out exhaust fumes. So therefore, water most likely would not get up in there. Uh, that is a little bit concerning here. All right now, so you can see here, we're already at 12 inches of water. Let's go up underneath the Jeep and find out what's actually covered at 12 inches. We're going to start here at the back. All right, I wanna show you something that's really interesting. On the rear differential, there is a vent. And at the top of that vent, there is like a one-way check valve. So check this out. So this is where the hose goes in right here. And then on the other side is this. So I'm like, what is this? This almost looks like a filter or something like that. It is not a one-way check valve. It is a hydrophobic piece of like something. I almost see cloth, it's not cloth, but something like that. So check this out, whenever I put, look here. Whenever I put water on it, it just beads right off, okay? It'll go both ways. So what's interesting here is if this gets flooded, if this goes over top of the water goes over top of this, the water still will not get into the rear differential, but it will allow the rear differential to vent. Jeep. Now that's what you call smart. All right, guys, take a look at this. This front board here is bowing out like crazy. I don't know why I've got a, a battery and a piece of concrete there. That ain't going to work. I need to make a plan quick because we're only at 15 inches right now, so we're only halfway there. So I've got a ratchet strap, and I'm going to screw the ratchet strap to the board and try to hook it to the Jeep and see if I can hold this back. All right, there it goes. Cracks right there completely. There's the, my first one. There's another crack again. I go underwater and hook it on the metal bumper and I pull the ratchet strap and when I pull the ratchet strap you'll see the board actually goes up and then that's when it really screws up everything. Now the tarp goes underneath the board and I can't save it from here. Now, I promise you at the first of the video that we're going to drive straight through this pool, and that's what we're doing right now. Oh boy, here we go. Drive. I really hope this drain works. Grab some rubber duckies. So I hope you enjoyed. I really, really hope this video can get over a million views. I've never had a video with a million views before, and uh, I'm hoping I did what it takes to get a million. Make sure you share with everyone that you know. Make sure you like that video, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you're smarter now than you were when you started this video. Have a great day.